coronavirus unfortunately put a premature end to the 2019 to 2020 men's and women's basketball seasons here at Ryder, as well as in schools across the country. The Ryder Bronx men's basketball team finished third in the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference standing with a 12-8 conference record and an 18-12 overall record. The men were set to play the Niagara Purple Eagles in the quarterfinals on March 12th prior to the NCAA's announcement of the cancellation of the tournament. Coach Kevin Baggett recently discussed the men's team's successes relating to how they were able to perform as a group this season. For us, it's all about the team. We talked about us, we talked about we, we talked about team. We don't talk about any individual accolades or anything. You know, we just ask when you get on the court that you play to your strengths, do the things that we need you to be able to do in order for us to have success. And I think our team has bought into that for the most part. The team had suffered some pretty brutal losses this season, including a buzzer beater on the road against Niagara and a few other close losses both at home and on the road. Senior guard Stevie Jordan recently spoke about how the team had been able to handle adversity this season. Facing adversity, we've been a tough team, but we bounced back. Like We bounced back after the Iona game and the St. Peter's loss, so adversity makes teams great. Unfortunately, being a current senior, Stevie has played his last game at Alumni Gymnasium. As we look ahead to next season, it appears as a redshirt junior Demencio Vaughn will be the leader of the team going forward. Demencio stated he was confident about the direction the men's basketball program is heading here at Ryder. Yeah, I believe that we have some great athletes that will be continuing their career here at Ryder and we also have some pretty great uh, young athletes coming in from high school and adding on to the team. So it should be fun for them and should be really good. While the attitude is pretty grim about the premature end to the season, Ryder students should get excited for what is to come from this team next season. I'm Anthony Corby reporting for The Rundown.